all, so I've just got back from work. I thought I'd use my spare 10 minutes to film a quick pregnancy update. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done one, I think. So it's about time I updated you. I'm actually 32 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So this is all about last week when I was 31 weeks pregnant. So they say baby is weighing roughly as much as a coconut, 1.5 kilograms. A coconut. <laughs> Ah, and lengthwise about just over 16 inches. So yeah, nearly 32 weeks pregnant. Baby is still in there and everything is very positive. I have noticed that the tiredness is setting in again. Um, but I'm trying to keep active, trying to keep myself going because I know that as soon as I sit down, oh, that's it. There's no getting up again. <laughs> still getting a lot of nice regular movements. I'm still getting a lot of Braxton Hicks. Um, I was at my midwife appointment the other week and she said that I do have quite a hard bump. I've got quite a solid bump and I have noticed that I've been getting some pelvic girdle pain girdle pain I never even knew this was a thing until I got it and I asked my midwife why I was in agony in the night so it's like where I'm just waking up in the night and I'm just trying to turn over and it it hurts so so much but throughout the day it's absolutely fine so I think my pregnancy pillow is definitely helping but I've been told to not sit like straddled I need to keep my legs together and it's funny because at work, I work in a dentist, if you didn't know. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but instead of like an office type chair, some people have the chairs that are like, they're like a saddle, they're called saddle chairs. So you kind of are sat like you're on a horse and I'm like, I can't be sitting on one of these. I'm like giving birth any second. So um, I'm trying to sit on my normal chair with my legs crossed. I'm getting up for a wee at least once in the night and it's funny because it's it's always between like four and half four in the morning. It's like my, I'm on this cycle now where my body just wakes me up around then to go and have a wee. <laughs> Baby brain, that feels like it's the thing now. I feel like I'm away with the fairies half the time. Just doing silly things really, like I've made peanut butter and toast the other day and I put the jar of peanut butter just in the sink and the knife in the cupboard. I mean it's not like the end of the world and it's probably something I'd usually do anyway. <laughs> Oh, big thing this week, me and Nate went to our first antenatal class on Tuesday uh, with Ollie because they start antenatal classes around like 30, 31 weeks um, and I obviously had Ollie when I was 29 weeks, I didn't end up going to those so it was really interesting actually, I learned quite a bit although there was one point where my blood pressure must have just dropped to something and I was going really really dizzy and I had to like leave the room and have a lie down and people were fussing over me and I was like it's just blooming typical people probably think that I'm getting like really scared about everything that the midwife was telling us but I just went really dizzy I am feeling very big very very big it didn't help with the hot weather last week because I had nothing to wear I just felt like a, a flump and I just like everyone else is looking nice with like crop tops and I'm just like a beach ball at the side but it's not gonna last forever is it I need to get over it but yeah, I'm feeling quite big at the moment. I feel very ready. I've done a lot, a heck of a lot of like nesting kind of stuff. Like yesterday, I started cleaning. It was about nine in the morning and I was just cleaning and organising and sorting out drawers and stuff. And then I stopped and I looked at the clock and it was like quarter to two. I was like, blooming it, where's the time gone? I need to take it easy. I think I need to remember that I've got potentially another eight plus weeks to go yet. So need to chill out if I feel like I'm preparing as if I'm about to have a baby like next week or something I don't know if that's anything to do with because I had Ollie so early last time and I feel like it's dragging a bit this time I don't know but I need to chill out with the nesting <laughs> although saying that I feel quite big I haven't got any stretch marks yet the only place I've got a bit of a hint of one is where I've had a piercing I had my belly button pierced when I was 16 took it out when I was pregnant with Ollie but that bit of skin is very thin and it looks like there is a bit of a stretch mark on there. But let's get the bump out and I'll show you. So here is a very nearly 32 week bump from the side. The other side. And from the front. Here's my actual bump. And I'll say this every time but it's getting quite big now. <laughs> So there we go, that's it for this week I think. My hospital bag over there is pretty much packed but I'm going to wait until I've got absolutely everything before I do like a, a separate video on that. Because again, because I had Ollie so early last time I'd not even got to the point where I was even thinking about packing a hospital bag so that again is very exciting to do this time round. But yes, thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you very soon in my next video.